What's up, YouTube? So today we got something pretty good uh, on the RTA side. Um, the Goblin from UD uh, was pretty good. Um, I gave it a rating from my standards of 5 uh, for the simple fact that you can't put that much juice on them. Um, but airflow-wise and everything else was a pretty good build. Uh, it was a little bit small. So today I got the Goliath from UD and um, there she is and um, same packaging nothing different um, both flaps one side with the hardware the other side the tank so just got this today I said I was gonna do a review on uh, I'm a tank guy so I love RTAs and RBAs and um, this particular RTA is, is is by far the best uh, right now compared to, uh, uh, I don't know, if I have to compare it, you see, it's pretty hard for me to compare it because this particular UD only has two posts, so it has that old school mentality of the Fogger 5, not the 6, but the 5, um, where it has those two post that has holes on it where you can put two coils overlapping each other and you got the dual coils and then the four channels going in um you can't see the channels on this because of the of the name um goliath but it has one of those uh, heartbeat monitors that go like this remember those i used to use it for my equalizer well you know flat line is dead and then like that so the highest one is for flavor control uh, the middle one is mid flavor control and then the other one is no flavor control uh, it doesn't have anything to do with uh, the airflow at all but it does have to do with uh, with flavor control by itself just like the the goblin uh, supported by an o-ring on the airflow adjuster so the reason why these things here especially the UD when they made it uh, they changed the game where you could actually adjust uh, the air control and that to me is a plus um, so I rated the UD in my category at 5 um, I rate this one believe it or not an 8 and the reason why I give this one an 8 is because um, because of the vapor production that it shoots out um, I would have gave it a 9 but you can only fill this thing up to uh, 4 mils um, also the way you fill it up you got to hold the glass in place unscrew the top okay so you can basically see that's how I will have to put the juice um, let's go ahead and put just to test it out nothing special get it to like where the o-ring is at I don't like to fill it all the way up completely it's just for the review we're gonna tighten it support it with uh, o-rings on the glass another reason that I give this what I gave it is because it doesn't have an extra glass it doesn't have an extra glass and that was a major con uh, also another major con it did not come with a drip tip so I had to put a drip tip on it as well so you probably would have got the full 10 or a 9 because of that I'm still deciding why but 8 sounds good uh, you know despite the fact that this thing throws a good amount of vape at 50 watts I have a uh, 0.3 build on this. Uh, love the adjusting the airflow. I think it looks cool. Uh, it is a pretty steep tank. It's pretty big. That is a pretty big tank right there if you come and think about it. But only holds 4 mils. I mean, if you look at the, uh, let's see, the billow. The billow holds a full 5.5, 5, five of juice capacity. It has a huge long chimney, but um we'll be staying tuned i just ordered the new uh billow v2 and see how that works out but you know let's see what this rta can do how she vapes i'm going to put a uh, one of those cherry tips on there 
Okay, it's a wide board tip. Uh, I was going to use a hurricane, um, but the hurricane messes with my flavor control. Uh, it's a little tighter of, of a board. As big as it looks, it, it has a small drip tip. So let's see what she does. Like I said, the flavor control works pretty good. Intense flavor. Uh, I get the my vanilla custard. I have some strawberry in there. So when I'm inhaling, I'm inhaling vanilla and strawberry. And as I am shooting out, I'm tasting the custard. So flavor-wise, that's the only reason why it gets that eight. Um, so it got great flavor, awesome airflow. Uh, still, you could adjust the airflow. You could adjust the flavor control as well. Um, like I said, the only cons that I have is the fact that it doesn't have a drip tip. The fact that it doesn't have an extra glass uh, is one of my two major uh, concerns, or better yet, my problem there um, on that. Also, the way that it fills. It's not like a limo, where a limo, you could be basically, you could fill it up easier it's not like the clarimizers where some of them are some tricky ones but you got some new ones that just came out which is pretty easy to fill uh, that matrix is pretty easy to fill uh, the Atlantis for me it's it's all right it's not bad um, but still you gotta unscrew and and that if it had a different type of method of filling it up I think I'll be a little bit more happier but hey you know what if you gotta screw the top of it that's fine it has a heat sink where it doesn't get hot. I mean, this build that I have here is a 0.3, and it doesn't get hot, and it's at 50 watts. So, take it from a guy who loves RTAs. Take it from a guy that loves tanks. Uh, this is a great buy. Um, it caught my eye because I bought it for 36.99. I got it from a uh, from Vapor Tech USA. A three to four days shipping class. I got this in about four days. I did do a pre-order on this when I first got it. The Goliath RTA, all right, and it's a limited edition, and that's what got my eye. The limited edition. So thirty six ninety nine wasn't a bad uh, buy for my money. Uh, if it was twenty nine ninety five. I still would have purchased it. I still think it's a pretty good uh, price for uh, a vapor tech. So, you know, to each his own. Just want to thank you guys for uh, tuning in. It's great. I told you that I would be coming up with new stuff. Uh, we're still going to go ahead and do a, a review on the Fogger V6. Uh, I'm still using it. It's been a month in with the Fogger V6. And I do have to tell you, I'm pretty impressed. Um, all the upgrades they did I think they should have done those upgrades back when it was on a four level uh, but because it's a six we got to give it to uh, to those uh, long <clears throat> those long people over there and uh, on the fogger side because they did buy that fogger uh, name from them and they did do some upgrades that are pretty good but the UD not bad not bad I think they did a pretty good deal here I think they did a better upgrade than the <clears throat> than the goblin <clears throat> peace thank you very much appreciate it vape on buddy